Last Tuesday was a crazy night for America. It was the final showdown of Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Of course, Donald Trump won and shocked a lot of people. I talked to some people about him winning and asked what they thought about it. How do you feel about Trump winning? In my lifetime, I think this was one of the most hard-fought and bitter um, elections that I've ever seen. And I think, unfortunately, that leaves a lot of Americans the way we felt, which was that both candidates were not decent people. And I think that's the design of, of, of what both chose to do. But I think uh, it's an amazing election, and it was an amazing example of democracy, because despite what the media was saying, despite what people were saying, despite what uh, pollsters were claiming, Trump managed to, to pull off a victory, which a lot of people were hailing even as miraculous. And, and of course, so many people uh, did not believe that this outcome was possible and that it was going to happen. And my hope for this country is that things can be put back together. And I think that only happens if the president tries to govern more from the middle. Okay, I think if this president chooses to, I won, this is the way it's going to be. Understanding that about half of the people in this country did not want this person to be president. And it would have been the same if Hillary Clinton had won. I'm ecstatic that Donald Trump won. I think it's a good thing that we uh, don't have a career politician in Washington, D.C. anymore. And I think that uh, Trump can mix things up and go in and just kind of to uh, let Washington, D.C. know how uh, things are going to be in the future. Uh, you know, with Donald Trump being with winning the election, I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't absolutely thrilled because I've always, I mean, I kind of supported Hillary Clinton. But after hearing about it, I realized there's a lot bigger things that are going to be affecting me, you know, and everybody else. And that, that shouldn't be my big concern. That's, that's my answer to that. I feel as though this is a major setback for our country. I feel like we were progressing, but I also feel the same. I um, feel like there's been a lot that has come far for civil rights and LGBT rights, and it's Radio kind of gone sense. downhill now, I feel. Do your views go along with Trump's views? Um, not a lot of them, you know, um, and... You know, in particular, I think the biggest concerns I have with Trump are on foreign policy. I never want to hear a president saying, bomb the heck out of people. You hear people saying that all the time, and people just really don't understand that you don't have the ability to go in and just bomb people, which would also entail killing innocent children, innocent women, innocent people. The other concern I have is with economics. You know, watching through a period of time where most Americans have seen their wages slow down. They've seen their health care take cuts. Uh, people like in my profession right now seeing their pensions in jeopardy or their 401ks hit are greatly concerned with the concept of trickle-down economics. And, and we've watched also with trickle-down economics that while everybody else has been losing in wages, the wealthiest people in this country have continued to make steady gains. That's a concern for me economically. But there are some issues I think he addressed that are important issues to look at. Immigration. I don't. I think it's silly and ludicrous, the idea of building a wall. I think he knows that. But I do think immigration and illegal immigration is something that does need to be addressed in this country. So, so that's something, you know, that I'm not totally uh, against him on. Uh, for the most part, uh, one of the big things that I disagree with is uh, Muslim immigration. He wants to put a complete stop on it, and I don't think that's going to solve any problems as far as the Middle East goes. But other than that, we align pretty well. Uh, you know, a lot of my views don't really go along with Donald, how Donald Trump thinks. Uh, the, one, the one main view is um, trickle-down economics, which is when if you give a tax cut to the top, the upper class, the um, it will trickle down and help other people with getting jobs and things like that. I disagree with that. It hasn't worked, and I don't think it will. No. No. <laughs> How would have you felt if Clinton would have won? I would have been happier. Um, uh, I think her positions are more in line with me. I saw Hillary Clinton as more of business as usual, and I think the fear of Trump it was greater for me than 
what I ideally thought Hillary Clinton would bring. So her, her positions on certain issues, like I said, with taxation, with minimum wage increases, um, women's rights, I, I think are more in line with my beliefs. Um, it's an election for the American people to decide, so I would have accepted it, but I would have been upset that uh, another candidate didn't win, uh, mostly because of uh, Hillary's questionable political choices in the past uh, with her emails and the FBI investigations. I mean, if Clinton would have won, I would have been very happy. I've been extremely happy with Clinton with a one um, due to Hillary Clinton's support of labor unions, particularly um, I want to be a teacher when I'm done with high school. I want to go to school to be a teacher. Uh, she supports labor unions. She supports education much more than Donald Trump has said he does. I mean, I, okay. I understand that she's not the greatest. Not, she's not the greatest. We didn't I have two that. very good options but i feel like clinton was the lesser of two evils and i side with her more same do you think trump will accomplish a lot of things while he is in office well i think like most americans there's some of those things i hope he does accomplish he talked about putting americans back to work he talked about getting better deals that are siphoning jobs away from this country i certainly hope he does that you know and trump which to me is a very democratic position he's taking it's talking about putting Americans to work, rebuilding our infrastructure. I'm interested to see how he plans to do that, but I hope he can accomplish that. The building of the wall, I think, is an absolute ludicrous thing, and I think, you know what, if Trump supporters, if that's what you genuinely believed in, was that we should have a wall between us and Mexico, and that's what you voted for him on, uh, I hope you keep an eye on and see if that can happen. But to me, it's unrealistic cost billions and billions of dollars in not only building it but maintaining it and and policing it and the number of courts and agencies and law enforcement would be astronomical in this country to do what he's saying. Uh, I sure hope he does. I mean, I feel like uh, with a Republican Senate and House, he should be able to as long as his uh, ideas are uh, good ones and uh, they're concise. Um, I do think Donald Trump will accomplish a lot of things, so wh whether I mean I agree with him or any other people who are on the left wing agree with it. I think he's going to get a lot of good things done and a lot of maybe not so good things done. I don't know. I, I guess I hope, but I know if this wall doesn't get built that there's going to be a lot of ticked off people, and I'm hoping he does some some good. I hope that there's the things that he does accomplish that are going to be helpful to more the, of U.S. than less. What is some advice for Donald Trump? Govern from the middle is reach out, try and unify, pick the issues that were most important to the Republicans and conservatives, stand on those, but find middle ground. Um, never forget who put you in your place, all right? Uh, the, the American people put you there, so you're, you have to be loyal to them. And uh, if you're not, uh, you won't get a second term, so please do and make as much difference as you can while you're there. Um, some advice I'd have for Donald Trump is definitely don't let your head get get too big with things. I think any president's done that. Uh, definitely, I would say always do what's right. Do what you think is the best for the country. Don't do what's best for a certain interest group. Um, Try, try as much as you possibly can to do it for the whole country. That's all I'm going to say with that. Accept everyone for who they are and not, like, don't screw up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>